And the water's a little cloudier today. I thought I'd just throw in something here. It looks like a, a small brown. Auger as well, the water is clear, or uh, doesn't have that aquatic problem. So we'll see what happens. I'll just catch this puppy and let it go. Got another little guy on. Again, the water seems to be the right color. We're catching some fish. Looks like a little brown. Oh, that was a brook trout. White, black, and uh, and red. Isn't that cool? Trying to make my way to that pond over there, and it, it rained last night, so I have to watch out that my GoPro doesn't get wet. I've already taken it off two or three times to make sure I have the right angle, but if I get it wet and you can't see, that makes it a little more difficult. I'll keep on taking it off and on. Again, rain last night, so a little higher. Caught some little fish already. We'll see what's up here. So, uh, throwing out a worm here and let the current take it. As I said, it looks like it rained a fair bit last night, but isn't that a beautiful spot? Rapids down there, beaver dam here, no fish here. It's a gorgeous place. You know, it's kind of hard to, to put my head up and show you what a beautiful place it is when I know there are beaver holes and uh, logs that I can't see. You can't see my feet. I can't see them either. So it's usually a very slow walk and uh, head up on occasions. As I said, an absolutely gorgeous day. You can see my two fish poles by necessity for age, but we'll work that out. Oh, there's a beautiful spider's web. Off to the next hole. So I was just casting up here and I had a tug up farther there. We'll see if the tug turns into a brown trout. No, it would appear not. Maybe it was a, a good branch, but I thought the branch was orange. So who knows? I know. And the fish knows. That's maybe the one shot I have at it for uh, for this hole. Doesn't seem to want to come back. I just have the most beautiful fish on right now. I fished between the, the weeds. I hope you get a chance to see it. Oh, it's gorgeous color. Absolutely gorgeous color. How to get it in. How to get it in. Oh, goodness. How to get it up so you can see it. Oh. There it goes. Oh, beauty. See that color? Unfortunately, it's just at the side. Unfortunately, who cares, right? Oh, gorgeous. I got to go around the side here. Make sure. Okay. Let's see if we can get it down here a bit. Water's way too deep for me to get at it. You can see it under there. Look at it. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. What a gorgeous fish. That color. I can't name the stream. It's just, it's it's natural. Got to wear this guy out a bit. Oh, what a gorgeous! Let him take out a little line. Not that much line. Get him tired. Get me tired. I don't know where to handle. I don't know where to land him. Oh, I'll go down here. This seems like a. Seems like a spot. I might as well fall in as I'm doing it. It's always important to do. This is this is textbook. I want you to know that. Wow. And I think it's still there. Can you see that? Wow. I gotta get Mark. I gotta get my foot out here. I gotta get my foot out so I can get this fish in here. Oh, it was in between, in between this weed stuff. Just amazing. Oh. Oh. Gorgeous color, gorgeous color. Oh, there's a, 
There's another great attempt at missing. Oh, oh, look at that fish. Oh, my right leg is in eight feet of water. Oh, oh, I can't get up here. Let me try. Let me try and get up here. Goodness gracious. Wow. I'll get the pliers out. You know what? I'm going to get a measuring stick. Oh, I hope you can see that fish as well as I can. That is an absolute gorgeous fish. It's like the fish that's on my, on my, uh, whatever you call it. I'm so excited I can't talk. Oh, and this looks like, looks like a male. And whatever that measurement is, Oh, 24 inches. Wow. Okay. Let's forget about that. Let's take a look at this. Uh, you know, again, a size 18 hook. That is so small. Look what it gets. Look what it gets. And again, I don't think I've ever caught it in that weedy junk. Now this could be, this could be the fish I saw earlier on. Come on, fish, cooperate. I want you to get back in the water here. I'll get you back in the water. Look at that. Just cut a just a hair at the side of the of the of the jaw. Not not caught. Oh there it is. No, oh, I'm kidding. I think I have it. Oh that's going back in the water folks, but isn't that gorgeous? 24 inches, that is a, a spectacular brown. Oh. Our, oh, I didn't get it off. Goodness. That's what old eyes will do. And again, it's just by a thread. There, the thread is off for sure. Okay, so now, that's a great idea. I hydrated. I'm going to let this guy hydrate. Oh. So I don't want you on your belly, big guy. You're going to... You're going to get better and, and you're going to swim off. I couldn't believe it. I thought I saw a tail in between the, in the plants. And I thought, oh, no, I did see a tail. I thought, how do I get down there? So I just let it float in between two, two plants. And all of a sudden I saw this head looking at it, a big white mouth. And it came back, swirled around and took it and took it again beauty huh go on big guy oh hey i'm glad i hydrated oh come on yeah you're in shock you know i think both of us are in shock oh i'm, I'm gonna have a a rest after this one and this wasn't the fish i was coming back for boy but Again, isn't that a beautiful color? This has to be a natural brown. Um, just has to be. Just has to be. So I just turned my GoPro off just to make sure it was on. <laughs> and I put it back. Oh, getting a little feisty here. Getting a little feisty. Yeah, yeah. You'll be ready. Tell me when. Tell me when. That was a classic retrieval, by the way. Right foot lodged up to the uh, hip, so you can't move. <sighs> Come to the bank, miss it twice like I did the other one. Oh, goodness, that's great. Hey, you wanna go? You wanna go? Yeah, you're shaking a little. Okay. We'll give you a second. You've gotta go and do it on your own. I love the white. When you, you go in dark water, and all of a sudden you see a white thing and it's a mouth a big mouth that's open and it's waiting for bait whatever this guy's starting to to move yep you want to go want to go go did i say thank you thank you just spent the last 10 minutes looking for my pole <laughs> i thought Let's go back in the water. It's 
deep in the water. Deep in the water. There we come. Comes back out. I thought, oh, okay, that'll be a story. I put on episode three. Yes, I caught a beauty brown, but lost my pole in excitement. However, <laughs> I knew I have a, a second old folks pole someplace, but at the moment, can't find it. But again, it, it, it took it right off the bottom. So had I not been on the bottom as it's going on the surface, as I have been for quite a while, uh, I wouldn't have caught it. But it just got pulled down between the two 20 foot uh, plants and off it came. So I come out here, reflect again when I finish. I'm an eight year old kid, finish fishing with my dad and he says, would you like to go for a pop? And I went, yes, I would, thank you. So we'd go to a gas station on the way home, old time gas station. They used to sell gas for 25 cents a gallon. You get the idea? And you'd go in and there'd be a counter and there'd be five stools and the stools would be swivel stools. They'd have red tops and an aluminum band. And you'd sit at the counter and the lady, say, what would you like? And I'd say, I'd like a red pot, please. Cream soda. She'd say, coming up, I have no idea what my dad got. But we'd sit there and drink and talk about the fish. And then on occasions, he'd say, son, would you like another one? Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely. I mean, that was, that was 10 cents out of his pocket. And it was red pot. Do you know red pot nowadays is white? I haven't had a red pop since I was probably 12 years old. Good times, good fishing. And this was a, a great day. I was shocked where I caught that fish. If I hadn't been wearing polarized lenses, I certainly wouldn't have seen the tail. And when I saw the tail waving amongst the, the, that long aquatic plant, I thought, well, maybe it was part of the plant. And then I thought, no, that's, that's a good size brown. Again, a great day, lots of good memories, lots of good thoughts. My next thought is, I hope those puddles that I went through are dried up a little so I can make it up the hill. That was a great day, see you later.